Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Queen Karen, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get 1 million views in your next video. Yes, I know I don't have 1 million views in any of my videos, but this is something I wish someone taught me before I started my YouTube channel, and that's how to create an end screen. Yes, an end screen is something that, um, you know, when you're watching a YouTube video, at the end of your video clip, like a minute or five seconds to the end of your videos, you show people the next video to watch. You can show them one, two, three, four videos, but at least two. Just keep it down a little bit. Two videos is enough. And you can also show them where to hit subscribe on the screen. It's going to be a picture. This end screen feature aids retention for your viewers and keeps them on your channel. Yes. When people plug into your videos and they are watching it, at, towards the end of the video, you show them two videos that you want them to watch because they liked this one. It will make them click on that video, keep watching your video, stay glued to your channel, and end up subscribing. Because imagine after watching your video, someone, another person's video now pops up at the end, you know, like ads, then someone else's video. No, 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 you don't want that. So how to make people stay on your channel and keep watching your other videos? Because obviously some people are very lazy. They might not want to go through it. Just give them. Say, see, this is what I have for you. One, two, three. And hit the subscription button. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your end screen. So before you create your first YouTube video or your next YouTube video, or even the videos you currently have on your channel, you can just add this end screen to it. It is very, very easy. So we're going to be going into our YouTube studio either on our laptop using the Chrome or your phone using the Chrome, but on a tab. I think I'm gonna be showing you guys in two different forms or one, one is okay. Get a laptop to get this done. It's better. If you don't have a phone, you can still do it on your YouTube studio. So let's go into the YouTube studio and get this done. Yeah, this is not for CapCut, <laughs> it's YouTube studio. So let's go straight into editing. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys both on phone and on laptop. So if you're watching this, you can fast forward to the part where I show you on a laptop screen and if you're using your phone, yeah, we're starting from here for those of you watching with your phone and you want to use your phone as well. If you're using a laptop to watch this and you want to do it on your laptop, fast forward to the part where it starts from the laptop editing. Yes, this video favors both of you. So if you're using your phone, you're going to go into your Google Chrome or your Google and tap in YouTube Studio as you can see on the screen. Now what you're going to do is you see the suggestion of YouTube Studio. You're going to press on it with your finger, press it down till it shows you this as you can see, then click on open a new tab this is where it's going to bring you you might see a suggestion where you actually have to click continue yeah so now this is this is what it's going to bring up it's going to bring up your youtube studio so this is my youtube studio now what we're going to do you can zoom in with your fingers zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in you understand what i'm saying so just imagine use both fingers to zoom in and zoom out now we're going to come to this side using your phone click on this place where you can see pl um, play in a box that's where your contents are. That's where your videos are. As you can see, these are my videos. So what we want to do now is, like I said, use both fingers to zoom in. You can see I'm doing it here. We're going to use this video, the second video, because I've not added the end screen behind it. So we're going to click, make sure you click on the title. Can you see the video? Yeah. Click on the title. The title is, I shot a one minute video using just, so just click on that title. In your own phone, click on the title of your video. And you see this pencil where it shows edit. Click on the edit. Zoom out. Make sure you're seeing what you're doing. Now, this is what it's going to bring out, your description and the rest. So, what we're going to do is use your finger again to zoom in to this end, where you see end screen. Can you see the end screen? Click on that end screen. Zoom out again. Can you see this? This is your end screen. Now, as you can see all those box right here, right? These are already suggested end screens. So, you can pick one and it will show. Do you see that? You can also create yours. So, this, the first one is mine because I created it myself. So... It's already showing, but you can pick any of this. I would suggest you create yours like this, this last one. Because it will show viewers your best videos and something, you know, you can either show them your recent video or one of your best videos on your channel. And this middle here, let's zoom in, please. Now, you see this part where it's showing picture? This part selected in the middle. When people click on it, it's going to tell them to subscribe to your channel. You see, it's the subscribe. It's even on Tikibu because this is your subscribe button. On the end screen but for here you can insert a video here you can insert another video here make sure when you're editing this if you want to do it by yourself i'm going to show you guys how to do it by yourself make sure that 
none of the videos are colliding with another with another video or with the subscription button can you see it's going to show red and it's not going to allow you to save it so make sure they are not touching each other can you see you can place it anywhere else but make sure they are not touching yes now let's create this end screen by ourselves in case you open your youtube studio and you don't see this now what we want to do is now this is how the end screen is going to look like on our video so we want to click on this element and click on video do you see that a video appeared now let's arrange this you can use your finger to pull this anywhere let's just keep it here i love it being here what we're going to do is you see this part where it shows most recent upload choose specific video best for viewers yeah yeah what you want to pick if you if it's selected most recent video it will automatically pick your recent video and put it there if you select best for viewers then youtube itself will pick um a video to suggest your viewers but if you choose specific video it's going to take you to your own youtube channel so you can pick whatever video you want so let's pick a video i want this video to be there so you see it brought out a video can you see that so that's what's going to happen but if you pick this other two most recent uploads our best videos youtube is automatically going to do that for you but make sure you pick the third one so we want to click on elements again let's add the subscription button where people will be able to subscribe to our channel so click on subscription or subscribe sorry immediately you see this let me delete it so you guys can see what, how it appeared immediately i did that click on elements click on subscribe and see a picture of your profile picture will show can you see that in the box well, now the reason why you're seeing this box here we're going to delete this box because it's quite it's not necessary so what you want to do is come here you see this show hover card outline we're just going to remove that yeah now it's just a circle so we want to put it in the middle right here it's okay because we're going to add another video like i said i suggest you guys add two videos to your end card now we're going to click on element again you can add playlist channel link whatever but we're adding just videos so click on video and it's added on our box so we're going to put this in the middle then what do we want to do i told you guys is it most recent upload best view best for viewers or choose specific video choose specific video if you want to do it yourself so let me just put this one and you see it's there already now the next thing we want to do you see this part right here where it's showing look down i will select the part for you guys so you can see now what we're going to do is click on each one and you're going to drag it to the point where you want it to be We're going to drag this the ones we selected use your finger to just drag it see drag it now when you drag it to the end right it has a limit so this is where it can stop right click on it this is where it can stop for the second one too all you want to do is to drag it down this means it's going to show at the end of your videos few seconds towards the end of your video which is the best suggestion so you don't distract your audience while watching your videos you do that to select the third one drag it down as you can see so this is going this is how it's going to appear in your video so when people are watching your videos at the end of your video they're going to see this suggestion what you want to do next is click on save make sure you always click on save as you can see on top click on save and you have automatically added an end screen to your video please and please i will actually suggest you guys use your laptop because using the phone isn't quite easy there are a lot of things your hands will be slipping off and you don't want to mistakenly tap on something so i would advise you get a laptop or an ipad no get a laptop and get this done with ease please and thank you you can watch the next one to see how it's done on laptop it's way easier way faster and for those of you that want to use your laptop watch the next video don't skip this okay for those of you that want to learn how to add an end screen using your laptop as i advised in the previous video please and please use your laptop to do this this is way better than using your phone trust me um so let's get started this is me i'm currently in my youtube studio so we're going to click on content once you open your youtube studio on your browser on your laptop go to content yeah and click on so let's find another video let's just click on this make sure you click on this edit details basically as it's showing but click on this pencil right here and it's going to load yes 
Now we're gonna scroll down to so where it shows end screen. Can you see end screen right here? Let me move the this over here. Yeah, this is end screen. We're gonna click on it. Now, this is how it's gonna appear. Yeah, these are suggested end screens. Suggested, right? This first one I created it myself. So it's currently showing on top. So if you are consistent with creating end screen, or maybe you create it once. Um, it's automatically going to save there for next time. So once you click on it, it's just going to add. Do you see that? So all you have to do is add a video here, add a video here, and your subscription button will be here. Do you see that? It's now automatically added for me. But I'm going to teach you guys how to create this from scratch. So delete, delete, delete. So you can pick any one that you want. Delete, delete. But for this video, let me show you guys how to create your end screen on your system. Click on this element and click on video. You can see this box that appeared. You can put it anywhere you want. You can click again and add another video. Put it anywhere you want. This is the best way to put it, or maybe down here. Let's put it down here for the sake of this video because the other video we didn't download. So, yeah. I told you guys that whenever you're creating your entry, you do not want any of these to touch, or else it's not going to allow you. You can see it. You can see it on screen. It's not going to allow you to save your videos. It's wrong. Make sure nothing collides. Click on element again and click on subscribe. This is a button that's going to allow people to subscribe to your channel. As you can see, now you see this box, we're going to remove it by clicking here. This show, just turn it off. And yeah, it's just a picture in the middle. And we're just going to put it there like this. See? Done! <laughs> it's that easy. So you can see that YouTube is suggesting, or YouTube Studio is suggesting that you put your video, most recent video over here, and best. Video best for viewers over here. Now, like I said before, make sure none of them collides. That's one. Okay. Now let's select our video. Over here, it's gonna show you what you can put. So look, most recent uploads. You can select something else. So for me, I will suggest you guys pick this two specific video. It's gonna take you to your YouTube videos. Yeah, so you'll be the one to decide what video do you want appearing on the screen. So let me just pick one of my videos. You see, it's showing right there. So over here too, you can if you click on best for viewers, right? It allows YouTube to select a video from your channel to best suit the viewer. So YouTube is automatically going to put a video there for you. Then if you click on most recent uploads, your most recent uploaded video on YouTube is going to be added there. Long form video, not shorts, video. But like I said. You can choose specific video, select from your videos or from any video on YouTube. So we're going to select another video. Let's put this one there. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do to add this end screen. The next thing we want to do is, you see this box right down here? You can see me clicking on this. Yes, these are the videos we just added. So, this is the length of your video, right? You do not want this to start from the beginning to the end. No, you want it to show at towards the end of your video. If you select it and drag it, you will notice that it will stop at a point, like it will not go down anymore. It doesn't go down further than this. That is because this is the accurate, well, let's say it's the perfect fit if you want it to be on your videos. Yes. YouTube obviously put this here. It's made it possible that this doesn't go lower than this because this is perfect for any video. It doesn't distract your audience while watching your video. It's just the perfect timing for it to appear towards the end of your video. So we're going to do so for all the clips. Select and then you can see that where the arrow will turn. It's not more like this. It's like this. And we're going to drag it down. Yes. So now, if you want to watch your video, this is how your videos are going to look. Do you see that? Do you see that? And then people can select the video that they want to watch next. Make sure you click on save. This is the most important part. So if you don't click on save, it's not going to show on your YouTube channel. So click on save. Sorry guys, I love clapping my hands when I do something very good. <laughs> so click on save and it has automatically saved to your channel. Yes. This is how to add your end screen. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys are going to add this to your videos. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you all. Mwah.